The Whiskey Tribe is my favorite whiskey YouTube channel, so when they offered this janky 12 Days of Texas Whiskeys tasting box, I jumped on it immediately and bought one. I'm on day two, so let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and thanks for stopping by and watching this 12 Days of Texas Whiskey series. I have a box from the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company, also advertised on my shirt, proudly. They have put together this lovely box, and they call it the Jank. I believe it's right here. Where is it? Where's the Jank? Oh, right in front. Welcome to the Jank. Boom. They call it the Jank because they had to throw it together as quickly as possible and ship it out and some of the marketing didn't quite uh, look as fluffy and nice as they'd like. And also, what I thought yesterday was uh, interesting that these didn't match up to the layout. I guess they kind of do, but now I don't know which way I'm doing them. I guess it's going down and then over because it's, it's a different, I don't know. It's a little janky, which is fine. I got 12 bottles of Texas whiskey here. Let's get into this a little bit deeper and try the next one, which is supposed to be next one over in the three, which is probably this one. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay, we're figuring this out. We're getting there. Let me put the janky box over here. The bottle today is Milman Green Whiskey, straight bourbon whiskey. It's bottled at 114.1 proof or 57.05% ABV. These are all 50 milliliter bottles. So that makes it easy for me. I get to grab a glass, pour a bit of it, and try it again later, just like I did with the Advent Calendar series. If you want any links to the Whiskey Tribe to know more about them, check out episode one of this series. And I put the links for them and also this box on my description for each of these videos because you can still get this box. They still said there's a few around, so if you're interested at all in trying some Texas whiskeys, this is a great reason to do so. And why is this cap not coming off? There we go. Let me go ahead and pour this one and see where we are today. This is a distillery I have not heard of yet. So it's a new one to me. And I'm looking forward to trying the Milliman Green Whiskey. Straight bourbon, like uh, the straight corn whiskey. It has, uh, bourbon has a requirement of Corn has 51% of its mash bill. Straight means that it's been aged for more than two years in a new charred oak barrel. Basically, we know we're dealing with over a, a two-year-old whiskey in this case. Because if they just said bourbon whiskey, it doesn't have to age at all. But straight bourbon means two years or more. I mean, bourbon has to be in new old casks, but it can just be poured in seconds later, poured out, and it's considered bourbon. Now, with other... Texas whiskeys, and I imagine almost all these that we're going to look at in this 12 box sampler, uh, they're going to be dark because Texas generally has a lot of hot weather and a lot of hot and cold climates. Uh, when I lived in Houston for almost 30 years, we got our share of near freezing and near 100 degrees constantly throughout the year. And that really pulls and pushes the spirits in and out of the grain which creates more color. That's why a two-year-old Texas whiskey will look darker than a 20-year-old scotch sometimes. Similar to yesterday's straight corn whiskey, I'm getting those corn notes, but they're not as strong and they're not as sweet as I was originally getting. And the ABV is gonna play out in this, definitely less than yesterday, which I believe was almost 67%. I think it was 66.8, it was pretty high. 57.05 is not necessarily low, but it's definitely a step down from that. I'm getting kind of a butterscotch candy on the nose. And the sweetness from the corn and a little bit of spice. The citrus note is more lemon than orange to me. Or maybe it's like a candied orange. Definitely some softer notes than the one yesterday. But again, definitely some heat. You're up there in the high ABVs, so the burn is real which makes it a little harder to <laughs> talk, <laughs> which makes it a little harder to get some of the initial notes out, but I'm getting that, the molasses notes. I'm getting a little bit of the 
uh, spice, uh, kind of a cinnamon spice on this one. Now the finish, I'm getting a, a bit of a rum sweetness. That's a nice long finish too. With any of these really high ABV bourbons, especially Texas ones, any Texas whiskeys that have high ABV are probably gonna have a lot of burn. So I'm gonna have to get past that to give any serious notes for these. Getting a little bit of a, a raisin note on this one. Maybe a, maybe a milk chocolate sweetness. Let me dial it down with some water and see what we get out of this. We have plenty of room to play with these whiskeys. So adding a milliliter or two of water, it's certainly not going to hurt this whiskey. You have to take it down a long way to hit anywhere near a 46% ABV. I was getting kind of a, a cola sweetness nose just a second ago. Or maybe that's just like a, like a caramel sweetness still. And I'm getting a little bit of cherries now, now that I took the ABV down a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more uh, cherry notes and, and other sweet notes now. Let me put some more water in here. I think this one can be dialed in really nicely. It has almost a, a menthol effect on the finish. Like I'm getting a, like a vibrancy on the taste when, I, when I'm letting it finish. It's kind of interesting. I wouldn't ask for menthol. It's not, it's not menthol in that I can smell it. It just kind of has that, that taste after you've had a, uh, a really strong mint, like an Altoid, and you get your mouth like, ooh, that mouth is just really clean and fresh. Whiskey, the breath freshener. I think we could have a lot of fun with uh, the My Lemon Green whiskey and playing with the ABV levels. This is why it's fun to have a high proof whiskey or a cast strength whiskey you get to dial in your own per preferred flavors and there's really nothing you can complain about that. Yeah, a lot more caramel sweetness on the nose now. Although I think three milliliters of water took it a little bit too far. I'm glad I got to taste this one. I appreciate you, uh, Daniel and Rex, for putting this box together for your whole team. It was a, it was a pretty fascinating video to watch them assemble these boxes and, and everyone all hands on deck to get these things out. Uh, before the holidays or during the holidays <laughs> it looked like a mad rush and I appreciate everything you did I appreciate your channel and if you appreciate this video go ahead and give me a like it really helps spread it around YouTube and helps people join the whiskey risk community and until next video which will be tomorrow take care of yourself take care of those people around you and cheers <music>